since this user is an employee of Cloud Binary, his information also will be in Active Directory. So his information is available in Active Directory. Server information is also available here. If he wants to connect this particular operating system from his local machine using RTP, he need to raise a request with the server team, Active Directory team. Since the user is in Active Directory, server is in Active Directory, from a server team or an AD team, a person will enable this request. He will fulfill the request. So also person is asking access to this. So hence you enable. This person only just map it. Whatever the username he is using to lap, log into his laptop, same username and password can be used here. I'm repeating again. If he is the one, his name is Joel, he's a cloud engineer, or you can say Kesho, he's a cloud engineer. He provisioned this Windows machine. After he provisioned, if he wants to connect the same machine from his local machine using RDP, it's not possible. Why? As per security best practices in the real time, it is not possible. Once it is provisioned, he will create a ticket with AD team, active directory team. They will grant access to this user on this server using what? His own credentials. He will have common credentials. For the credentials only, they will map the credit, uh, access to this. So you don't need separate username and password to log into this machine. He will use the same username and password which he was using every day. And he will log in. Once he logs in, what he or she will be doing is they take care of user input management. They take care of systems monitoring. They take care of security monitor management. Backup and recovery of the CC2 instance. Configuring of backup and recovery to this instance with the help of snapshots. Networking. Make sure that TCP or UDP protocols are configured, IP protocols are configured, and it is being reported on DNS. And on that operating system, we must install some web servers, app servers, or DB servers based on the customer requirement. We provisioned it, very good. But after that, what? It should be some purpose. So after it provisioned, on this machine, we can run a website, web application, a database, a storage, a Tableau application, a SAP workload. For that, application node will tell us what to do. So you take care of, download, install, configure of any softwares which are related to some service. Since you are doing all this from year to year, so your job is to what? Troubleshoot. Troubleshoot the issues. Diagnose and resolve hardware and software issues. Here we don't deal with hardware issues in AWS. We only deal with software issues. Because hardware is being taken care of by the AWS itself. So as part of the system administrator of Windows system admin, day in and day out, what you do is only these things.